Hey guys, hope you're all having a great day. I'm Amy, if you're new to my channel, I do videos on health, raw food, meditation, spirituality, fitness, and personal development. Today, I wanna to talk about my opinion or my view, my perspective on veganism. And like, yeah, veganism as a movement and um, yeah, cause lately, or not really just lately, but it's been an ongoing thing that a lot of people like vegans when I say vegans I'm I mean vegans any kind of vegans raw vegans fruitarians even vegetarians whatever like anybody who is um, eating a plant-based diet basically um, in that community it's like a common thing that people will like create campaigns and not necessarily try to convert other people that aren't vegan but sort of um, try to motivate them to try a plant-based diet, which is great. I think that's all great, and I've got nothing against the vegan movement itself. Um, however, I just want to give my opinion in this video or my perspective on it, mainly not because I I, I think my perspective is right or wrong, or, and they they're wrong. Just because I want to put it out there and give you guys a different perspective, because. Uh, there are some people that have like a similar perspective to me, but I think it's less common and The main reason is I don't want you to agree or disagree with me I it doesn't really matter to me at all. I don't really care like I totally accept other people's opinions about Veganism or non-veganism if they're if even if they if they're like a, a carnivore and they they believe that that's the thing to do Like I I don't agree with it. I definitely don't agree with it, but I accept that if that's their if that's their point of view, I accept that. Um, probably wouldn't want to hang out with those people though. But that's besides the point. Anyway, basically I just want to put out another opinion or perspective because I want you to create your own perspective on it. Like don't get caught up in the mainstream or even the opposite of the mainstream, whatever, like, or anything in between. Just create your own view on your own perspective because if you're on a lot of social media, if you watch a lot of videos, or even if you don't watch many, um, if you watch anything at all, everybody's opinion is subjective, right? Everybody's got their own perspective, and that's all good. It's great that everybody has their own perspective, and that's why you need to have that too. Well, you don't need to have it, but you kind of, even if you don't want a perspective, basically, you still got some perspective. You can't really avoid it. Um, anyway so you may as well speak your truth and create that for yourself rather than blindly following other people because like I myself um, found myself like often when I see things about like animal cruelty and things about the environment and that and other people like creating like campaigns and stuff all for the good um, sometimes I would get caught up in that and base my opinion on that and it wasn't exactly how I felt inside and now I just don't I don't want to project that out to people and I don't want other people to create that for themselves because like there's no right or wrong for anything and I just like for anything at all but um, for veganism especially and I just want to give you guys a different point of view um, that's all it is I've got no interest in creating a debate or Argument it doesn't matter if you agree with me or not. It doesn't matter. You can turn this video off if you're not interested That is fine Anyway, so I'll get into it um, And yeah, I'll briefly outline like how I got into veganism if you're um, You know my channel you haven't watched any of my videos It basically my main reason was like my intuition. I literally felt like it was two years ago over two years ago now when I went vegan I went to Chile for six months, and while I was there, I was eating a lot of meat. I ate a lot of veggies and a lot of fruits too. I've always been pretty healthy most of my life, like all through my teens and that, because when I was really little, um, like I was brought up on eating like a lot of junk food because that was kind of like, my mom didn't like to cook or she didn't have time to cook and that kind of thing, and it was just easier for her. And because of that, I really hated McDonald's. I really hated eating that way and I got myself out of it as soon as I had any control over that and yeah for that reason my health was probably pretty good but I was still eating a lot of meat and I really liked meat 
um, up to this point when I went to Chile and they eat a lot of meat over there so we had a lot of barbecues and but when I came back I I just felt different and I I wanted to I didn't really want to eat meat anymore I didn't feel like eating meat and I kind of just thought you know I'm gonna move out soon because I, I was about to move out of my place like into my own place um, when I move out I'm gonna go vegan so I did that and I had that intention and I just went and did it and then I watched at the same time I was watching a lot of documentaries um, about more about veganism than fruitarian I didn't know about fruitarianism at that point really um, I'd heard it I've heard of it I had heard of it but I had beliefs at the time that I needed protein because I came from like a personal training gym environment where I, I believed like I really wanted like I was more muscular at that point and I really wanted to keep that and yeah that was my view at that time basically so that's how I got into it and then a year later the same thing happened with fruitarianism I just had a gut feeling to go fruitarian I just wanted to do it and it wasn't it was even stronger um, when I went to fruitarian because um, it was like a physical thing as well. Like my body was actually telling me that I couldn't eat the way I was. I was evolving and for me to continue to evolve, I couldn't eat the same way and that's just what I needed to do. And so I just followed my intuition. That was basically the basis of it when I did it, it was purely a gut feeling for both things. And yeah, my, my beliefs about like, oh, it's gonna improve my health and it's um, gonna help the planet and the animals as well was all into it, but really it was a personal thing. Um, that's all it was to it. Anyway, so for that reason, like, like my opinion on veganism really is that I don't think I ever want to eat meat. I, I, I know I don't ever want to eat meat again, and I don't think I ever will. I probably won't. But having said that, I've got nothing against it. I've got nothing against people that eat meat or are vegetarian or vegan, raw vegan, fruitarian, whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't like labels at all. Like at the moment, yeah, I call myself a fruitarian because if you were going to define what I eat, the closest way you define it would be fruitarianism is if you're going to give it a label because that's what I pretty much eat. I mainly eat fruit. 90% fruit and a bit of salad that's what I eat and I'm pretty like stable with that but I'm however I'm not strict if I really feel like I I want to eat cooked food I will eat it but I don't really do that very often <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much what I do but I don't I don't like labels I'm just putting that out there and it's all like comes to acceptance like I accept people to have their own opinion about anything because really we are all one so in a way like we can't favor animals or people or the planet one of the other it's all one it's all part of the same thing it's all part of who you are and for that reason everybody is doing their own thing because of their point their level of awareness at that certain time they may really believe that they're doing that thing um, what they're doing is good for themselves and good for others maybe they don't maybe they know better whatever it doesn't actually matter that's irrelevant the fact is that everybody is just doing their own thing and it's just the way it is and at the core of it all it really doesn't matter because it's all evolving everything is constantly changing and there is a lot of things that are wrong with the planet and wrong with the level of human consciousness at this point in time. However, I can see that all evolving. I don't know how long that's going to take. It's probably going to take a really long time, like like lifetimes beyond me. But that's all part of where we are right now, and you have to accept that. Well, you don't have to accept that. You can choose to accept that or not. However, I choose to accept it because it's the way it is. And that doesn't mean that I am going, when I say accept it, it doesn't mean that I'm going to support it. And if I see animal cruelty, um, it doesn't mean I'm not going to take action to do something to help that animal or like to stop um, something happening. However, I'm not going to get too involved over anything over in the media because I, 
I, I see the purpose, like, honestly, I see the purpose in campaigns, and I think they're, you know, they those people are trying, are doing that because they want to help and they want to do this. However, me personally, I feel like the best thing I can do is just to do what I'm doing and to accept people for where they are, because because campaigning and if you get too caught up in things and and movements and you you get really stuck into that opinion and then you f it creates separation so it will create separation whether you intend to or not doesn't mean you may have um really good intentions um this is why i'm not against it at all i just don't want to get involved in it personally because like i don't want to create separation between me and other people regardless of who they are like because i i work with people that are mostly meat eaters they eat anything and they don't understand where i'm coming from and i know that because like a few years ago i may have came from a similar place to them so i have empathy for them like maybe they don't want to change that's okay that's their thing people don't have to change like some people are never going to change and i've just accepted that that's okay i don't have to do deal with those people unless they come into my experience then i will deal with them and yeah, so I don't want to create separation. That's why I don't want to get involved in like certain campaigns and things because it's easy to create that if you even if you don't intend that because it's easy to think because everybody has an ego and everybody thinks that their belief is right. And it doesn't mean like having somebody's belief being right doesn't mean that somebody else is actually wrong. Like we don't need to fight and argue. There's no point in it at all. Um, but it can create that and there's no need for it and my main purpose isn't to change other people my main purpose is just to um share my truth share what i know be authentic be myself and create like a great life for me and to help other people do the same that's my purpose and um like basically like helping the animals yeah i want to help the animals but I feel like this is the best way to help the animals in an indirect way is just by doing what I can myself and encouraging other people to do the same because uh like we don't need to fight we don't need to fight for things like things will naturally evolve over time and that's just part of it's just part of where we are right now even if, even if the Amazon is on fire, even if there's global warming, um, even if people are eating heaps of meat and their consciousness level is really low because of that and they're killing things and they're not taking care of the environment, um, if people are doing that, some people are slowly evolving out of that, right? And they're going to motivate other people to, to evolve out of that whether they intend to or not if pe other people are watching that they will do and it's all part of a natural evolution so what's the point in really creating a campaign some people need to do that because some people that's their purpose that's their thing but that's not my thing um i'm just i just want to stand back and share my truth and yeah, be myself. So that's pretty much it on why I'm doing this. And also my last point, like, on compassion. So compassion is for all things, right? All people, the earth, everything in it, objects, even. I mean, you don't have to have compassion against for an object, but you get the point. Like, compassion for everything. So humans are not better than animals. Like, like it's... The whole reason that we felt like we need to eat meat was in a way that humans felt superior to animals. Like, we felt like we we deserve more. We, we're more important. We're not superior to animals. However, animals aren't superior to us either. So, we don't have to, like, sacrifice ourselves for an animal. We don't need to sacrifice ourselves for the planet either. You can do that some people do that and some people that's the, probably their role that's the purpose in society but we don't need to okay and yeah i'm just going to turn around here because a bit of noise back here i just realized um yeah we don't need to do that right so 
Compassion means accepting everything and accepting everyone the way they are because you can't change people even if you want to. You can try to, but often people will rebel against that if you're trying to change them. The best thing to do is just to be a good role model. Do everything, live your truth, live your authentic self, and people that are ready are going to come to you and ask you for advice, ask you for help. The animals will benefit because of what you're doing and then what the other people that are following you are doing. The environment will benefit eventually because every, there are more and more vegans um, that are popping up everywhere over time and it's only going to take so long until um, it becomes a thing where everybody is like living in peace and harmony. Like it's probably going to take a while but um, it will happen eventually and yeah so for that reason that's my last point but create your own opinion about health and veganism and like animal and animals and compassion uh, it doesn't really matter you don't have to tell anybody about it or you can it doesn't matter but just have your own opinion don't get caught up in all the media or the um, opinions of other people Anyway, that's it for this video. So if you liked it, give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you want to hear more videos. And I will see you guys next time. Alright, peace out.